Hi everybody, I'm Kathy. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm sharing an old family recipe. My mom used to make this dish for us all the time and I'm kind of feeling like I need some comfort food today. There's a winter storm going on outside so it's the perfect day to just stay inside and cook. And what I'm doing is I'm making a baked macaroni casserole and I'm going to walk you through the steps. I make this quite often for our family, most of the time I just make it on top of the stove but I'm preparing it ahead for dinner tonight and I'm actually going to be cooking it in the oven and it just makes it a, a little extra crispy. So I'll walk you through the steps. If you want to see more cooking videos, please give this one a thumbs up. That just lets me know that you're interested in this type of content. I have had several requests for some cooking uh, recipe type videos. And I actually just filmed a uh, lemon cheesecake recipe, so I'm not sure which one's going to go up first, so make sure you click that subscribe button so you don't miss any. Okay, so my water's boiling, and I have one cup of elbow macaroni measured out, and I'm just putting that in there. And you just yeah, basically cook it until it's done, usually about seven minutes. Okay, so the macaroni's cooked, and I have it in here, and this was just one cup of elbow macaroni. I just want to show you what I use. Uh, I use the whole wheat, but I mean, you can use the white, the rainbow, whatever you usually use. And then you're going to need one large can of diced tomatoes. And just a little tip, you always want to wash the tops of your cans because, you know, there could be uh, rodents or whatever where they're stored, and the warehouses could be walking on them. And then I went ahead and I've grated this cheese. I, I would say there's probably about three cups of grated cheese. We like a lot of cheese, so you don't have to use that much. That's what's nice about this recipe. You can sort of tailor it to yourself. And uh, there's the cheese that I grated. I like the old for macaroni. It just gives it a little bit of a kick. So I have one of these Corningware dishes. And it's a uh, one and a half quart or 1.4 liter. So I haven't greased the dish or anything. You don't have to. I'm just going to start with a layer of tomatoes on the bottom just to get some juice there so it doesn't stick and burn. Then I'm going to do a layer of macaroni. And then some cheese. Now I don't put any salt or pepper in mine. We add that at the table because not everybody likes pepper and nobody here uh, uses salt. Put some more tomato. And you want to save enough tomato so you have enough to cover the top. So we're only going to do two layers of macaroni in this dish. So I've saved that much tomatoes. I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of cheese on top of those tomatoes. And then I'm just going to put the rest of the elbows like that. And then I'm just going to pour the rest of the tomatoes on top. Like so. And then I'm just going to pour the rest of the cheese on top and just make it look pretty. And that's it. That's a really quick meal you could make ahead. You know, if you're working, you come home. It's already cooked. I'm just going to bake it tonight and I'll walk you through that. This is something you could make ahead during the work week when you're working, you're tired. You just pop it in the oven for maybe 20 minutes till the cheese is melted. Everything's warmed up and you're good to go. So I'm gonna put it in my fridge and I'll uh, see you later. So there's my macaroni casserole after being in my toaster oven for 20 minutes at 350 Fahrenheit. It should be warm enough. The cheese is nicely melted and browned and I'm going to be serving it with some garlic bread and some Caesar salad that I made. So if you enjoyed this cooking video, uh, give me a thumbs up and that just lets me know that you would like to see more of these types of videos. 
Thanks so much for tuning in. Subscribe if you haven't, and I'll see you soon. Bye!